Well, like I said, I'm not going to really know, really enforcing something I really don't know, so I mean, I can't really elaborate on anything like that. Yeah. Well, kind of, when you guys have a break like this, how much does conditioning get challenged? I mean, um, it can challenge a lot, so I'm, I'm sure um, today's going to be more, more tempo than, than usual. But at the same time, I mean, we, I think everybody did a great job running on their own, conditioning on their own, working out on their own, and kind of bought into what Coach Golden was, you know, exemplifying before we went on break. It's been very early, obviously, but even today in the depth chart, there was an awful lot of shuffling and whatnot. Do you guys as players expect that to be... Yeah, I nothing mean, set in stone at all until September. Yeah, he, I mean, Coach Golden cool, cool, already, you know, he already then set stone in there. He said the guys that work the hardest in practice, the guys going to play. So each and every day, it's like you got to come out here with your hard hat and go to work. Each and every day, you can't take a day off. How closely do you guys look at the depth chart? How much does it mean to you where people are in mid March? I mean, it means a lot to you personally because you know every time every person wants to start. But at the same time, you just got to compete, compete. So if you know if a guy is ahead of you, I mean, that just make you more hungry. So I mean, it's just nothing but competition between everybody. Is there an attitude in mid March if you're a starter that it's your job to keep? If you're not, it's your job to go get. Or do you oh yeah, just... well definitely. You're a starter, you, you want to keep your job, and if you're not a starter, you want to get that job. Thanks. All right.